seeable. So we got a little piece of onion, and then you'll notice that this little piece of onion, we could probably even break into a couple pieces of onion. Like if you got a big like honker, like, look at this thing. See how it's really two pieces, and just you'll use the forceps, which are like big tweezers. See now it's two pieces. Now watch carefully. You get your slide right. This is not going to work. This is way too big. Look at that. Did I put a cover slip on that. Is that going to fit under the microscope? Holy dads know. So what you have to do, you have to very carefully take the forceps here. You like stab the side. See what I'm saying? And find an area where this and peel off. Watch this. You see that? Peel off the skin. See what I'm saying? Here's the rest of the onion. Got more skin for later. So we put it back in the container. Then you put the skin on there. And when you do that, you need to try your best to make sure, see how it's nice and flat? It didn't get like folded up and whatnot. If it's folded up, remember, we have to shine light through it. If you have it folded up, you're gonna be looking at like two layers, three layers of cells, it's gonna be a mess. Because folded up is not the end of the world. What you can actually do, use the forceps, grab like a slide to hold it down and just very carefully like unfold it. You see what I'm saying? Now it's gonna be kind of annoyingly like sticking to things, but just be patient, precision tools. Then, what color are these cells in here? See-through. How are we gonna see them? Yeah, you, what, what stuff? You gotta stain them. This is called stain for a reason. Guess what happens if it gets on your hand? It'll stain your hands. Guess when it comes off? When that part of your skin comes off. It gets on your clothes. Same thing, it comes off when that part of your clothes come off. Your skin will replace itself, your clothes do not. Notice, I'm gonna make this wet mount here and instead of using water, you just take the stain, you put it right on there. I recommend probably two drops. Then you grab your cover slip. Now mine are extra large just so you can see them a little better. See, take your cover slip and again, you hold it. See that 45 degree angle? Drop it, see how it's spread out. Maybe give it a little tap. Now, if there's a bunch of stain oozing out the sides, that means you put too many drops. That's all right. You just grab a piece of paper towel, you put it over top, that'll blot it up. No problem. Then same procedure, just like you did with the letter E, just like you did with the prepared slides. Always start on what? Always start on scanning. Do you use the big knob, the course focus when you get to high power? No. 